Restan Valenciennes came into this fixture with differing fortunes. Valenciennes has started the season like a house on fire. Brest had endured a rather slow start, but now picking up under Langely Chauvin. An early foul by Rudy Matter on Eden Ben Bassat. Gave Bruno Grugia a chance to launch a dangerous free kick into the box, which he did, only to see it cannon off the crossbar. Uh, Daniel Sanchez's men had started strongly and completed a smart and swift counter attack with Mathieu Dosevi applying the finishing touch. His low shot across Alexis Thibault into the far corner to give Valenciennes the lead. Well, Sanchez's men look good value for their lead at half time. Some are signing Geoffrey Derny in the crowd with some of the Brest fans. And moving into the second half. Nicolas Penetou, the Valenciennes goalkeeper that gifted Brest their equaliser as he raced out to claim a high cross, colliding with fellow teammate Gilles. And Jonathan Aite swept the loose ball into the unguarded net. The evening was about to go from bad to worse for the Brazilian defender as it clearly wasn't his night. His ill-timed challenge on Eden Ben Bassat, not only providing Brest with a penalty, but also ensured that the Brazilian defender played no further part in the match as he saw his marching orders. A miserable evening for the Brazilian. Ben Bassat stepped up and sent Benito the wrong way from the spot in line for a valuable three points. Well, they almost lost them in the last minute. Valenciennes thought they had a draw when David Ducotiu's cross was met by Anthony Latalek. The former Orzair man's header beat Thibault. It couldn't be the woodwork. Brest move into eighth with the victory. Valenciennes one point back in ninth. Daniel Sanchez's men will face Marseille next. Je prends un carton rouge, il n'y a pas penalty. Non. Je perds un joueur et un but.